Happy July 4th everyone. Welcome back to Utah Spirit Trail cocktail videos. My name is Charles and today's cocktail is going to be featuring High West Distillery and it's called the Bourbon Renewal. But first I wanted to remind everyone that on July 10th there's a Bruce Distillery event put on by Slug Magazine and it's going to be down at the gateway in the art space area. So be sure you go on down, check out all the amazing distilleries, and we're going to be there too, so be looking for our canopy. Stop by and say hi. All right, so let's get to the cocktail. So we got our glass with our uh, enormous chunk of ice, some Utah Spirit Trail championship glass. We don't sell this one. This is the one that you get for free once you complete the trail, and that's by getting all the stamps from all the participating distilleries in your guide. Since I've got it in my hand, which High West is on page nine in the guide. Most people know of High West. It was the first distillery to reopen. 1870 was the last distillery that Utah had. So since then, fast forward to 2007, High West opened up. So all that time we didn't have a single distillery. So it's pretty amazing. I know many of you have probably been up to one of their locations. They have the one in Park City and then the one up in Wanship. I can tell you both are awesome locations. I really like going to the Wanship location because they have an amazing brunch and the views from their back patio is spectacular. It just really is, uh, it really is a great time up there. And they, they put on a really good distillery tour. Food up, up there is always amazing. I just prefer the, the brunch. So like I said, this cocktail features High West. The original recipe calls for a bourbon, but I figured let's play with the recipe a little bit. I mean, I, I tend to take a little bit of creative freedom with a lot of these cocktails that I, that I bring, and those of you that have watched these videos know that I tend to, to tinker with them a little bit. It calls for a bourbon. I'm using the bourbon and rye combination from High West, the, the Boer rye. I just think it's fantastic. It's fantastic on its own, and, and it's fantastic with ice and it just knocks most cocktails out of the park so um, much like sh the sugar house bourbon from last week the high west bull rye is of the same caliber so when you get a chance there the bull rye is still available it is a limited release but it's still available in most of the dvc locations and up at at their two locations, Park City and Watchup. So um, it's also featuring a Creme de Cassis, which is a black currant liqueur. Not as easily found, at least not in my neck of the woods. Um, there's a few stores in Salt Lake that have it. St. George has it. It is kind of readily available in the Salt Lake area and uh, so central Utah and and down. So um, northern Utah, not so much. So Ogden. Uh, really up you're not gonna see this didn't make a special trip to to get a hold of this one because I was really excited about this cocktail I think it's gonna be delicious because I mean black currant liqueur I mean, come on right so it's gonna have a little bit of lemon juice we got some fresh squeezed lemon juice in here from a previous episode I uh, just got it bottled up we've got a lemon slice over there for the garnish we have some Angostura bitters and some simple syrup. So, pretty simple cocktail to make. It's gonna shake it up a little bit, pour it over that gigantic chunk of ice that I've got in there, and that should be should be all there is to it. So, let's get after it. So we got our mixing glass. Again, we're using the Beehive Distillings mixing tins, because I love them. They're amazing. Just, I didn't forget to get it. It's awesome. Okay, so it is two ounces of the bourbon. Now I jinx myself. What's going on about this? And I forgot the jigger. Okay, we got the jigger. So two ounces of the bourbon. Oh, I just, I love this stuff. Okay, half an ounce 
of the creme de cassis, which is the black currant liqueur. Mm. One ounce of lemon juice. And then half an ounce of simple syrup. We're going to do a dash of the Angostura bitters. Maybe. There we go. Just a dash of the Angostura bitters. Then we're gonna add some ice to the tin and we're gonna give it a shake. Ooh, that's, this one's good. Okay, now I'm just gonna pour it into our cocktail glass. Oh, wow. Oh, that's beautiful. And then we've got our lemon slice. And we're just gonna lay that on the side. And there you go. The bourbon renewal. Let's give it a shot, shall we? Mmm. Wow. Okay, so I was right about the burai because you can pull both of the rye and the bourbon out of that immediately. The black currant really brings it a nice, soft, summery, light red fruit flavor to it. The, the lemon it just adds just enough tartness to it. And even though we added a little bit of the simple syrup, it's not in, an incredibly sweet cocktail. It's just, it's really light and refreshing. You know, and I'd, I'd say that, honestly, you could probably just put a touch more of the black currant if you have maybe a taller, a taller glass, right? You fill this thing with ice. And you add just a little bit more of that. And maybe instead of the lemon juice, maybe like a lemonade. Or even, you want to get real sassy get a country time like or any any kind of fizzy lemonade it's still got enough body to it you know um and add that to it instead of the lemon juice and i think you know i think i'm gonna make that i'll post about it in the coming weeks in the comment section for this video i'll i'll post about that but i i said the bourbon is fa fantastic the rye fantastic um you combine them both, age them for a little while in a barrel. That's your, that's your jam right there. It's awesome. If you haven't messed around with the black current, current liqueur, um, I really encourage you to do so. It, it really is a, a fun liqueur to play with. Um, it is in a smaller bottle. They they have it in the 750 milliliters of the dbc um but i think when i say they have it it's in their system so you have to special order it right but you know when it comes to liqueur i'm not entirely sure how much you're going to use in it like a year or so 
Um, maybe the 375 is, is the way to go with this one. But it is, there is alcohol in these. So it's eight, this one's 18% alcohol. And it's a product of France. This. Oh, do you see that? Do you see that? This is 46%. So, a little bit higher, right? But delicious all the same. It actually, it doesn't drink like 46%, which is 112 proof, right? It doesn't drink like that at all. So don't let that kind of scare you off. Um, it's definitely smoother for that. So if you're a fan of bourbon, you're a fan of rye, you're a fan of both, and you haven't had that, got to get it. Um, I'm more. So in all, huge fan of this cocktail. I will be definitely making this one again. So don't forget about the Bruce Dillery event on the 10th. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, down at the Gateway, it's, got, it's an excellent entertainment space down there. So come on down and join us. Support your local distilleries. There's going to be a bunch of local breweries there as well and, and a bunch of local crafts. So come on down. It's, it's not going to be just about one thing. It's going to be about just the community as a whole. So, so come on down. Stop by and say hi. We'll see you there. And here's to hoping this 4th of July found you in good spirits, with good spirits. Cheers. Thanks for watching.